gonna get a good result out of this, am I? <laughs> Probably should have ironed it. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Dashlane. Deadly Survival Skills is back looking at another top 10 tips from former Navy SEAL Clint Emerson's book 100... What's it called? 100 Deadly Skills. God damn it. <laughs> this is episode 4 but it really doesn't matter what order you watch these in. All the tips are standalone and there's no continuity except maybe my progressing consternation at reading some of these. I have no idea how well this green screen is going to work, although I could probably take a good guess that it's going to be less than optimal, but uh, give it a try anyway. There. That looks, um, well I suppose I'll see when I edit this. Number one, make a flexible chain weapon. All right, straight out of the gate, just absolute mad shit. You just take a lock and then you put it at the end of a chain and bam, you have a flail. Um, those of you who have watched my video on Irish weapon laws will know that this actually constitutes an offensive weapon over here and is bad. Number two, make a newspaper nail bat. A big step up here from the last one in terms of creativity, although still not exactly mind blowing. Roll that fucking rag up there, put a nail in the middle basically, fold it over, tape it together, flail it around with gay abandon. Nobody's gonna fuck with you when they see you with one of these bad boys. Number three, deploy a roll of coins. Can you guess what he meant by deploy roll of coins? He meant hit someone with roll of coins. Uh, I really don't know why he didn't just put all of these tips together under one tip and just call it hit someone with thing. Anyways, here we go. You turn an innocent roll of coins into an effective weapon of self-defense. Yeah, an innocent roll of coins as opposed to, I suppose, a, a malicious roll of coins. Imagine what sort of damage you could do with an ill-intentioned roll of coins. Yeah, anyways, you've just put it in a sock, mate, and, well, you know the rest. The nails make a return for a especially shit Wolverine cosplay. Remember when you were, like, a kid in school? and you would put like three pencils of varying length between your fingers and you just became Wolverine, like you just sucked up his soul, like his essence, and you became him now that you had these three pencils between your fingers. That reminds me of another time in school, we must have been about five or six, and someone used a pencil pair to try and sharpen their finger <laughs> and was surprised when their finger got cut up into ribbons. Number four, dismounted surveillance. Stalking. Stay out of target's field of view. Probably didn't actually have to tell us that one. Uh, change your clothes often. Observe your target through the reflections of glass and windows when you can. Carry items that give you an excuse to suddenly stop and stay in one place for a while, like a uh, newspaper, smokes and the like. Yeah, not much to say. Moving on. Number five, mobile surveillance. Remember those missions in Grand Theft Auto where you had to like follow someone in the car but you couldn't get too close or else they'd get spooked and you'd fail the mission? Yeah, it, it's that. There's some good points in here that are relevant to the last skill as well. Like if your target does some like out of the ordinary maneuver, like a U-turn, don't go after them, just break contact for the day. Same thing if they make two consecutive turns, just let them go. It would look pretty strange if you were to do the same thing and it's possible that the target is only doing it because they're suspicious of someone following them. And it works for you too, if you do this shit around the block and somebody is still behind you all the way through that then they are following you. There is no legitimate reason for anybody to ever make this sort of maneuver in their day to day life. Number six, make an improvised infrared light. So apparently this is as easy as putting camera film in front of the bulb of the flashlight. I guess the camera film just filters out all the higher frequencies of light, which I didn't know. And this is the stuff that I read this book for. Thank you, Clint. This is sick as fuck. Number seven, make a tracking device for night surveillance. Oh, damn, he's pulling out all the cool shit now. I feel like recently in this book we've had a lot of 
just ridiculous shit that is not really applicable to you in your everyday life, like taking the airbags out of the car to replace them with guns, or that fucking rope ladder thing. Oh, let's not talk about that. But this stuff right here, construct infrared illuminators visible only through cameras in order to track target vehicle at night. Your ex-wife is taking the kids, she might be seeing another man, you gotta track that bitch down, man. I mean, this is the type of skill that your average Joe can make use of on the daily. You get one of those little keychain LEDs, turn it on, uh, wrap it in that camera film, attach it to the target vehicle. You turn your lights off at night and you watch the infrared through a camcorder and they can't hide from you. Although I suppose if it's night, nice, they'd probably have their lights on. Um, so you could probably just follow the lights. That would probably be a bit easier. Number eight, detect tampering of personal effects. I've actually done this one in real life before. So you wanna know if somebody is going into your room and rooting through your stuff while you're not there. You wanna line things up in a very specific way and just remember how you left them, like the direction that things are facing, the distance things are away from each other. And a classic that I used to use all the time set a trap on your door with like a little piece of paper or a hair or something like that and if on your return it has been knocked over then someone has opened the door in your absence. I remember one time when I was younger I was playing hide and seek uh, with my friends in the garden and there was one rule, just one rule, you weren't to go into the house, you had to hide outside. Well, my friends thought they were pretty clever, pretty sneaky, and eventually, of course, they did go into the house to hide. But they didn't count on me being even sneakier and leaving a small rock against the door, which I would immediately check on every round of me being the seeker. And sure enough, the rock had moved, which meant they had gone into the house, and then I beat the fucking shit out of them for breaking the rules. Oh, and apparently there's an app you can get called Phototrap that lets you take a picture of your room and then analyze it for disturbances. That sounds pretty cool. Hey, wait, look. Uh, the illustrator just copied the picture from the photo on the app store. What the fuck? Who made this? Escape the Wolf, LLC. I wonder who's behind that. Ah, uh, Clint. Clint Emerson is behind that. This is like those two Counter-Strike YouTubers who made all the videos about this great gambling website that they had found. And then it turned out that they were the fucking owners. And we found this new site called CSGO Lotto. So I'll link it down in the description if you guys want to check it out. But we were betting on it today and I won a pot of like $69 or something like that. So it's a pretty small pot, but it was like the coolest feeling ever. Now, and uh, my connection to CSGO Lotto has been a matter of public record since the company was first organized in December of 2015. However, I do feel like I owe you guys an apology. Hello, my name is Mint Lemerson. I just found this amazing app on the App Store, which you can buy for 99 cents. The app is called Phototrap, and it is made by a person I do not know. Number nine, determine surveillance. Ah, oh, this is just like what I was saying earlier about walking around in odd patterns to know if you're being followed. Uh, I guess I should have read ahead in the book before giving all that away. Oh well. Number 10, discreetly lose surveillance. Okay, the key here is discreetly, because you don't want your follower to know that you're onto them. You know that scene in the movie The Warriors where the girl tells Swan that the punks are following them, and then he's all like, I know that, but now he knows I know, and then they have the big fight. That was a really great movie. I always love that scene where the leader of the punks is like stalking the doors with the switchblade and he's on the roller skates, it's great. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, um, just take the bus. And that's all for today, except it isn't. Number 11, install Dashlane. While we're on the topic of surveillance, let's talk about my sponsor Dashlane. Dashlane is great for managing things like filling out address forms and credit card information, but it also has a number of security features that I think even Clint Emerson would approve of. Wait, who runs this company? 
Okay, we're safe. You can generate unbreakable complex passwords and then have them saved locally to your machine so you don't have to remember them. You'll get alerts if any of your accounts are ever compromised. It's got a VPN on it so you can disguise your location, which is useful for accessing region-locked content too. It even monitors the dark web for you to make sure no one is using your personal information unbeknownst to you. This is probably the only tip in this entire series that doesn't require you to put yourself in either physical or legal danger. So join Dashlane. You can get it for free on your first device for life by heading over to dashlane.com forward slash cukeser and get an extra 10% off their premium service by using the promotion code cukeser. And there we have it. Now I'm going to have to take all this stuff down. I'm going to have to fold this fucking thing back up and put it in the fucking box. I'm not looking forward to that. Mm. Deadly Survival Skills is back looking at another top 10 tips from Clint Emerson's... Fuck. <laughs> it's useful for accessing region-locked contact... No, no. Fix it, please. Stop, I'm not right the fuck.